my vice is as here, John. Okay. So what you have to do here is you're gonna have to rank them 29 to number one. Oh God. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is the worst thing for a man like John to do. Uh, John. John doesn't like something last. Okay, so uh, number 10 is this uh, Pelicana based bison. Um, I don't know, maybe I should have taken a little more time on this. It did come out better than I thought, but then there's these others, uh, Trumpet, so I guess. Um, and then the next one is the Goblet of Fire Illustrator Edition. This came out way better than I thought. I really didn't think it would have come out this well. So I'm gonna have to rank this nine. Okay. Uh, the blue whale of Katusa. You know, this was originally supposed to be a Connecticut whale, huh? but uh, you know, licensing couldn't work out. So, uh, you know, this this came out better than I thought. So I'm gonna rank that. The original, well, the remix, original Lucky Charms. Um, as much as I like this, it, the original, original is always the best to me. Um, you know. The side patch came out great. Um, the essence of the same, the hat is generally the same, but um, you know you can't top the original, so I'll go with that one. This one, I was pleasantly surprised with the way this Bonchan inspired uh, bison's came out. You know the color coordination is perfect on this. There's lots of metallics, green under, and uh, you know black corduroy, and these two bison's. You know not in such order, but. Uh, I love the way the colors just, you know, look good on on these. So that's what I'm gonna have to go with. And my top three, uh, the Rick and Morty Bison's hat that I worked with uh, with Ray from Team My Fitted on. Uh, she was wearing a T-shirt one day, and I was just like, okay, sparked a uh, inspiration to do something cool with the Bison's logo, and I was thoroughly surprised with the way this came out even though this is a plain Jane it's, it's a really nice hat and top two first one is the Lucky Charms at number two and Sean Witherspoon will forever be my uh, top Bison's hat and you know as much as I love the original Bison's it did sit on, on, on the shelves for a little bit but then again people started picking, picking it up it's just the construction the color the shade of red is just like the bonds so it, and i tried my best to mimic the lucky the leprechaun it worked out pretty well and this how could you now that i look at it, it just that's probably the biggest hype hat ever for this, uh for minor league baseball i literally redid this probably 20 times just to get it right and i'm i'm wow looking at it again it just came out beautifully with the blush under right. black sweatband I haven't done that in a while so no. I might have to go back that to all do, white. doing that yeah but uh yeah this is my absolute number one I mean you know there's a lot of uh this one's memorable as well because it reminded me of uh the Whopper mm -hmm. Washington Nationals hat yeah. you know yeah, so yeah, yeah. uh but wow how far we've come there's I know. lots of bison and now and now they're popping up everywhere yeah, and then, but um, you know, it's it's good to see it. Um, yeah. That's why competition's good. You yeah. know, yeah. always want to try something feel different. Good that you made this logo so popular. 
to a certain certain degree yeah <laughs> and now we're, everybody's getting their no turn, right? yeah and then uh you'll see more of it coming from us soon yeah. i can't uh speak further on it but um yeah there's gonna be lots more yeah. bisons uh before the year is out so you know stay tuned yeah we'll see what happens nah thank you john this is this was fantastic man thank you so much oh no problem no problem